friends. We are doing an awesome, awesome makeup look today. I'm so excited. I have all my things out. Um, this is kind of comical, you guys, really quickly before we get started. I was watching this tutorial by Holly Boone, which is the look I'm inspired by for today. And I actually wrote out the steps on my phone. Um, the last time I remember doing this, I was in middle school. And I wrote on this piece of paper, um, basically the steps watching, I want to say it was like Tenny and maybe Carly's makeup looks. And I would go through my mom's makeup and find what she had. And I'm just feeling really nostalgic and back connected with beauty and makeup in the way that I love. So just thought I would share that. <laughs> Skincare is on, you guys. I also did brows because she did brows first in her video. And then she actually carved out her brows, which I haven't really done in a while. Um, so I did that as well with concealer. And then I have it all over my lid. So... I accidentally set with translucent powder, which she did not do, but then she goes in with a dark kind of contour concealer. Um, so that's what we're going to do, guys. We're just going to go over it and hope that it works out. I'm going to take a little blending brush here and we're going to kind of work this in. The thing about, I feel like Holly Boone always has the most bomb complexion, like her skin and eyes and everything in her makeup always looks so nice and cohesive so that is definitely an element of what we're going for here too sun is shining right now you guys and in michigan in the winter that is not always the case so i'm in a happy mood we're playing with makeup we're drinking iced protein coffee we are having a good time today so I'm going to open up this Be Up palette, Lily Lashes X Sephora collection. It's an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just going to dip into one of the cooler bronzers with the same brush and just kind of start deepening. I think this brush is shedding a little bit. Officially so ready for warm weather you guys i miss just being able to take my dog on a walk outside and not have on like 5,000 layers and possibly tripping and falling in the snow while he's trying to enjoy his time and do his business like oh let me know um i know some of you guys are from michigan Oof! did you guys hear that <laughs> um let me know if you are if you're ready for spring or let me know where you guys are from in the comments below i'm also gonna take um the deeper color here it's just slightly warmer and slightly deeper and gonna add a little more depth to this i want to pick up my desi x katie friendcation palette from dose of colors i'm gonna go into this nice warm brown here this palette is discontinued but i like have a couple on deck that i kept for myself because it's so unmatched <laughs> this is so nice so while i'm blending i'll talk to you guys a little bit just in terms of content creation I love YouTube and I love TikTok. Instagram would probably be my third. Um, but it's like, I always feel a little bit of pressure to be on, make sure whatever I'm filming can be put on like every single platform. And I realized today, I'm like, sometimes I don't like to have to stop filming my YouTube video and then come over here and like continue filming the TikTok. And it just kind of becomes like a lot at once and then I feel like I don't get to focus on enjoying whatever I'm creating in the moment because I'm so worried about capturing it on for all these different like platforms or whatever um so <laughs> today I just gave myself permission to sit down and film a YouTube video and not worry about getting a bunch of TikTok content like if I end up doing before and afters then that's fine but it feels good <laughs> I know some of you guys are content creators too, so let me know if you feel the same way because it's a little bit a lot going on. I'm actually going to go back now. Let me double check my notes. I'm pretty sure after that, she goes in with concealer and a flat brush and she carves out her crease. 
and in her video she even says oh my gosh this is so like circa day 2016 but she was like don't worry we're not gonna make it look like that so oh here we go concealer this is my Too Faced um born this way multi-use concealer and a flat brush wow okay <clears throat> this is a little scary i'm not gonna lie okay now she does go in with translucent powder <laughs> i have in my notes girly you guys minaj is here you guys minaj is my longest most diva haired kitty and i feel so bad for her because she's getting her adult coat and therefore it's making it hard for her hair and she's getting mats around her neck Anyone who has long-haired cats, please comment below and help me, or if you have Instagram, DM me, because I'm having a hard time finding a groomer. She doesn't even, like, she's not that affectionate in general, and she is, like, ugh, she is hard to get a hold of to pet, let alone when she's obviously, like, uncomfortable because of these mats. So I have an appointment with my vet this week. I'm going to go into our Huda Beauty Pound Cake baking powder and just oh wow that does help a lot it makes it look so much nicer I think all my cats are in here right now actually Tunchi's up there snoozing away and the girls are messing with some things so we're almost there so i'm just gonna actually keep going in with this translucent powder hopefully to kind of soften things even more and then i'm just kind of patting it on i'm gonna go in with a light colored shadow for the lid so i am gonna use the lightest shade in my friendcation palette it's called basic <laughs> Just a flat brush and I'm gonna pat this on and wow it's so crazy you wouldn't think oh something like a shadow this color would make a big difference but I feel like it really does give that dimension we are using our Maybelline lasting drama gel liner in black it's also been a while since I've done gel liner so wish me luck Yeah, the little brush is better. <sighs> okay, we're back, guys. Not gonna lie, um, I had to do a couple steps by myself because working with the gel liner on myself is a little tricky. Um, uh, lately, I've only been using it on like my freelance clients and not on my own face. So I took some time, finessed it, put a brown shadow, kind of smudged um over the top and then i cleaned up with some concealer here as well i have the cutest babyest better than sex mascara <laughs> um that i'm sure was like some freebie and an order so we're gonna use that because my regular tube is gone it's a goner one of the differences between holly boone's original look i think she only did liner out on like the outer third of her eye um, for me lately, like I do enjoy that look and I did it for a long time. I still do it. But lately I feel like if I line my entire eye, something about it just lifts my whole face. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know how to explain it other than that, to be honest, but we got a text. I'm just kidding. It's not Love Island. Next up, what does she have after this? Mascara lashes, of course. She did just individuals, but she's also been using a lash serum, and her lashes are freaking insane. Um, probably like twice the length of mine. So we're going to be applying some Lily lashes. Yeah, I think these will be pretty. These are the faux mink lashes in the style Luke's. I'm using the Lily Lashes glue, too. I just bought some more of this something about it i don't know why i just love it way more than duo i think it has like a tackier hold 
and I never ever 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 worry about my lashes lifting whenever I use this glue so that's what we're doing so let's put this little lash rooney on that's the other thing is I've been re-watching keeping up starting at season one all the way back guys because I want to be prepared and in the vibes for April when they launch their new show and oh, it's just such a throwback so many things that I forgot ever happened in circa day 2000 when did they start like 2008 maybe this was my first pair of lily lashes back in a minute I used to be obsessed and then I kind of started using a whole bunch of different kinds and I never realized they're finally moving away from doing mink lashes obviously so the faux mink and I really like them okay we're gonna let the glue kind of dry on these guys so that we can work on other things um, and I believe she just goes directly into face and skin prep which I've already done so I have on my moisturizer my eye cream um, all of that good stuff I mean in winter in Michigan it's like you could never have too much so I'm sure I could do more but we're gonna ap apply our foundation this is actually so soft oh my gosh um, I'm gonna mix actually on the back of my hand my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I don't know if there's any left in here. Barely. Because I do have a spray tan, so I'm a little bit more tan than my face is. And then my Maybelline 24 Hour in 118. There we go. And I have honestly been liking like a thicker, heavier night cream or moisturizer as a primer lately uh, I feel like because it's so emollient it really helps my foundation wear well and like naturally and I feel like it's been helping my skin too like I haven't been having as many breakouts knock on wood <laughs> are you even allowed to say that out loud <laughs> but interesting I don't normally do this order for my skin anymore like hardly at all so we'll see how it turns out I'm already loving the eyes so blend with sponge so just press in to the skin I feel like I can use a sponge to get a little bit closer to my brows and that larger brush Again, my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. I love this stuff. I actually want to try her Holly Boone Cosmetics um, concealer, but I haven't gotten down to ordering anything from her site. But I'm like, if my under eyes can look like hers, mm. give it all to me, honey. I'm just going to do wherever I normally kind of conceal to lift the face. She actually, I'm pretty sure, like, lets this kind of sit, like, blends out with a brush, and then goes in with a sponge to blend. Then she does cream contour. So, I feel like I need time for this to kind of set on my face a little so we're actually gonna do cream contour right now with the same concealer just in a darker shade this is caramel and let's see if we can find a nice little brush she kind of dots this on her face I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna actually put it on the brush and then work it into the back of my hand actually that's a lie we're gonna put it on the back of our hand and then work into it um, I feel like this will give you just an automatic blend whereas sometimes if you if you push it into your skin with the applicator of the concealer it can actually like move everything that you've already set down including foundation so we don't want to do that not always I mean you guys know with makeup like there's n never one way to do things there's always different techniques that work for different people, so this is just how I like to do it. 
I really take a lot of inspiration from Makeup by Mario and Harouche, and I feel like their um, art styles are very like layered and focused on the blend, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do too much here. But see how it's just kind of easily blending in with everything we have going on using the brush. And I always take it back to my ear once I do the cheek. <laughs> I look so crazy right now, but it's gonna look cute. Little, little pencil brush to do our nose contour. Boop, boop, boop. Holly Boone always does amazing like contour, highlight, everything with her nose always looks amazing. She does these really thin lines. I'm trying to get like you, my boy. I don't really see her doing this. I don't think she lip contoured, but we're gonna just give ourselves a nice little extra pout because I like it. Now I feel like our concealer is ready to be pushed in. I could go in with a brush to kind of blend out the edges, but I think we're just going to go straight in with our sponge here and start with the concealer and then we'll go in and kind of push in the contour that we did. So I am going to start at the edges, of course. Moving down around my lip. Both sides of the edges. I'm kind of pinching the sponge so that I have a little more control. Do here. Nice and pushed in. Our turn. Like it's been so long since I've actually put cream contour on top of my foundation. Normally I do it underneath so I'm excited to see how this looks. The cutest thing happened yesterday you guys. Um, we were watching, my boyfriend and I were watching Love is Blind season 2 and this girl, her contour, oh my god, was like really not good. She just, it, was, it looked really muddy and she had on like this gray contour with like purpley blush and it literally looked like she had, someone had punched her in the face. <laughs> and he goes, oh my god, like is, what's wrong with her like face? Is, is she okay? Is that just her makeup? I'm like, yeah, you know, it's just really bad contour. And he's like, oh my gosh, like a little bit later in the show goes by and he's like, oh my gosh, she really needs to learn how to contour and how to do her makeup like it is not looking good look at that and it was like in a green screen interview you know and they're asking her questions and stuff and I'm like he noticed that her under eye was like really patchy and like dark and kind of the base of the makeup was like messed up <laughs> it was like such a proud moment of like yeah you're right like she needs to do better on her makeup <laughs> It was just so cute that he recognized that. I don't even know if I've been telling you what I've been doing because I don't know what I'm doing. But I think we're getting somewhere. Let's take our powder puff that has a little translucent and just kind of push under the eye here where I would crease before we go in with our liquid blush. So liquid blush, I'm going to be doing um, NARS Liquid Blush and Orgasm. It's one of my favorites, really my only favorite liquid I've used in a while. This brush here, it's pretty fluffy, so hopefully the application is nice and yes. Weirdly, I feel like this brush is kind of soaking up the product, so maybe we won't use this brush in the future, but we're committed right now. So I'm just kind of... Pressing it on. I'm gonna take a little up here on my forehead, a little over the nose, chin, just to kind of 
tie in the color. I'm going to blend back between the concealer here with our sponge. So now we take our Huda Beauty baking powder in cupcake. Guys, we're in we're in the home stretch here. A little powder brush situation. We're gonna start to press this into the under eyes. Mm-hmm. And anywhere your face itches. <laughs> I think there must have been cat hair on one of those brushes I just used. Ugh. The worst. Kind of up here. Kind of start to set the face around the nose, the chin. Mm. My powder puff and again the loose Huda Beauty baking powder and press under the eyes. I feel like I was saying this in a previous video. I know this is like an old school Hollywood, like this trick has been around or technique rather using a powder puff. Um, it really does just your pores like it makes them look so snatched and like just your overall skin your texture everything it like melts the makeup perfectly into your skin it looks so pretty so same thing down here look like I need to tweeze my little mustache a little bit can't get my lip wax anymore you guys because I use retinol and I prefer to avoid wrinkles over lip wax so now I have to like pluck it myself <laughs> and I'm gonna use my Dragon Beauty um, this is the transform face powder it's just the like duo here I love the pinky shade under my eyes Ugh, Nikita like did her thing on this powder it really lifts and brightens your under eye like look at that that's a crazy difference <laughs> like insane the yellow one is sometimes a little much for my skin tone but I do like it um, kind of down here so I'll sometimes mix and then press to kind of give myself that little faux cut Sometimes I think, like, why ever like anyone else doing my makeup? Do you guys ever think that? Because, like, you're, you're so good at knowing your own face, and then it's like, I don't know. So, at this point, I've abandoned my steps, and let's, let us see. My phone doesn't even recognize me. I'm so beautiful right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I stopped taking notes at this point, but that's okay, because... We're, we're doing good. Things are coming together very beautifully. I'm feeling my Holly Boone fantasy. We're going go in with Vive Sunset Blush in Cherub. It's this pinky pink pink, as you see. Beautiful gorgeousness. This brush here. Whoa. It seems like a lot, but don't worry. We're going to... Tone it down. Wow, that brush loves this blush. <laughs> I'm going to pull some up to my forehead. Down here. If you ever get cray 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 with your blush, first of all, use your actual brush to kind of disperse it and just keep blending. And then what you can do, like, see how that already kind of softened it? Oh my gosh, wow. What you can do is go back with your powder puff and just kind of tone it down. Tone it down a wee bit. Mm, much better. And always remember, blush is the first thing to fade off your face. So even if it's a little, seems like a lot, it's probably fine. So now... Let's contour, more so bronze. I'm gonna use this brush here and my Lily Lashes X Sephora palette. Just take some of the bronzer. And I'm really gonna concentrate it here. 
at the front of my cheek and kind of up. I saw this on TikTok where this girl said contour right where you can poke a hole and touch your teeth and I swear it like, I don't know, I just like the way it shapes me. Just redefine that a little bit. The only thing about doing your brows at the very beginning is I am definitely going to have to go back and kind of fix them a little bit, which is fine. And I am going to also re-hit where we kind of went in with the lip contour as well. While we're finishing skin, I'm actually going to take my Vive Highlight in Holy Chic. And let's just give ourselves a little dollop of this. Okay, somebody's car sounds really bad, or they are plowing, or both. The joys of almost suburban life. The joys of condo life. You shared in Leatherberry. Do you want to use this? On my inner corner we still have to finish our lower lash line but I just want a little something there it's gonna go into my dose of colors palette with that medium brown and we're gonna kind of just smoke out the lower lash line and connect it up here but I don't want it to be too too much you know normally I go crazy down here with the shadow we're gonna be very soft Because we're actually going to go back in with the gel liner and we are going to do our waterline underneath here. Just to make this like super extra sexy. Like I was saying, I feel like the liner is what really... Makes this like, you know, look at the difference in my eyes. I go back to my little angled liner brush and that same deep brown out of the Frenchation palette here. I'm gonna push, kind of smudge. I'm still getting my groove back of filming makeup videos, so. I feel like my, I forget where to hold my face so that you guys can like see it. <laughs> and then I'm making sure I connect the smudge up to the wing so that it's very cohesive and the makeup is one with itself. Let's add lower mascara. This little baby thing kills me, it's so cute. It's like perfect for a purse. So let's just retouch up the brows here. We're gonna finish off the brows with Elmer's Clear Washable Glue. Just a dot on the back of my hand. Spoolie. Brush the spoolie through it on the back of your hand. And voila, you have your brow gel. I'm gonna go wipe off the makeup that's on my lips right now um, and then we will go ahead and finish off the look guys. Actually first before I do that why don't we spray our face with our setting spray. Okay we're back. Let's go! We're gonna take our Morphe Sweet Tea Liner. I'm gonna overline my lips. Go in with my favorite lipstick at the moment, which is the Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in the shade Angel. It is just mm, so yummy. Not literally, but it looks so pretty you guys mm, I love it so much okay you guys I'm gonna go do my hair and then we'll come back with the final look 
All right, you guys, this is the final look. I am so obsessed. This just goes to show it's always fun to do different techniques, try things that are like out of your comfort zone when it comes to glam. Um, you, just, you just might find a new favorite technique. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely list all the products I used in the description box below for you. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this makeup look. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!